Hello everyone, it is Agony333, and it's time for more Man Eater. So last time, we had our awesome, glorious, blood-soaked introduction to this fucking amazing game. We were a shark, we tore up the beaches, we met Scaly Pete, and it turned out that we were actually not, you know, the main character. Yeah, it was our mother, and he killed her and threw us into the water. We are a pup now. And so now our story begins as we seek vengeance on Scaly Pete for killing our mother. But we've been dragged to the bayou, basically. We're, yeah, we're stranded here, it seems, for the moment. Last time we saw a gate that was blocking access out of here. But we have not really explored. We haven't done nothing. We basically just got in here, just really started the game. We have an objective ahead of us, which is to uh, go to the grotto, which is our, like, safe haven. And here we are, we are a little baby pup, just starting our journey, and I'm fucking hyped to be back into this shit, and to spill more blood into the waters around us. So let's commence this fucking shit. So yeah, um, this episode is gonna be about basically exploring this bayou and, and stuff. And the first thing right off the gate that I'll mention... As I've mentioned before, Apex Predators, but what I'm worried about and concerned about is I know about one of them. I mean, it was pretty advertised big when this game was, yeah, announced and whatnot. I know there's a crocodile one, and that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about running into that big bad motherfucker because, yeah, we're a level one bitch. We're a basic bitch shark right now, so we can't handle fuck. We're going to have to... Oh, there's a car down here. We are going to have to watch... Our, uh, yeah, our scales, our ass. Because if we run into this big fucker, it's, yeah. Wait, what the hell is that? A treasure fucking chest? Uh, I don't like how that's blinking. It kind of, like, makes me think it's, like, a bomb or something. But uh, that's a collectible. Did that just open up, or do we have to chop chop it? Aha! Bull sharks so have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Okay, so that's a nutrition, uh, cachet or whatever. So that's pretty cool, one of the little collectibles we found. Yeah, we have to get to that bayou. We're just gonna fucking snake our way along the, uh, yeah, these shallow little rivers and chomp about whatever's around. But watch our ass, because, like I said, that apex predator might be fucking around here. <clears throat> he might very well be... Okay, that had me for a moment there. That had me for a moment there. I was kind of worried, but, uh, let's look at the map again. So, yeah, see... Who knows where that fucker is if he's in here. But that's, like I said, the main um, threat that I'm feeling right now is... I don't want to run into that son of a bitch because... At this point, he could fucking take us down pretty easily. We've eaten, like, one thing. We're gonna eat this motherfucker here. Because, yeah, I'm not sure if... Um, I want to just go around grinding and eating a little bit till we're at least, like, you know, a level or two ahead or not. But let's just head towards the uh, grotto... See what that's all about. Because, I mean, we have never even been in there, so... so... Right now, that's our main fucking thing. Besides, you know, eating everything in sight around us. So far, we just have little baby fish. And, uh, that... Doesn't look very... Inviting. Whatever the fuck this... Thing is. Well, looks like that's to the grotto, right? Is that give us power to the grotto or something i don't fucking know but let's go down here and let's uh fucking see let's see all oh, this is so pretty okay new evolution the of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness so nature's intention press uh yeah left to open the evolution panel while in the grotto so evolution's probably like leveling up and stuff and it looks like we have advanced sonar so maybe our sonar Got a little bit better to be able to pick up things. I don't know, but let's check this bad boy out. Aha, uh -huh, here it is, guys. So yeah, nature's intention. Uh, X to equip your new advanced sonar evolution. So wait a minute. Look, there's uh, three organ slots. A tail slot, body, fins, jaw, head. That's cooler. That's cool as fuck. But yeah, so let's uh, hit this thing. And so, yeah, it looks like we have, you know, nothing, or we have this basic ability here, which is advanced sonar and organ, yeah, ability, or whatever. Tier 1. So it looks like there's going to be different tiers to them as well. 
This evolution improves the range, cooldown, and sensitivity of your sonar ability. And it's passive. Plus 50% sonar radius. Uh, minus 10 sonar cooldown. And we can upgrade it. Okay, with that DNA stuff. That's pretty damn cool. But let's... I guess we might as well equip it. So yeah, nutrients. Nutrients are resources gained by eating wildlife, humans, destroying boats, and completing quests. Nutrients increase your level and upgrade your evolutions. So yeah, evolutions. Evolutions are mutations that grant, grant you amazing powers, such as bone armor, poison glands, or bioelectric organs. You earn evolutions by gaining infamy ranks, completing landmark quests, and killing apex predators. To equip evolutions, return to the grotto and press, yeah, that. You can spend nutrients to upgrade your evolutions. That is pretty fucking sweet. And okay, so if you look over there to the right, there's like mass rating, health rating, defense, damage, speed. So yeah, different stats and stuff, which is awesome as fuck. But yeah, that fucker is equipped. So now we have an advanced sonar. I think we were just testing out our basic, you know, our little shitty one. But now we have a little bit of a better sonar, it seems. Bigger radius and stuff. Which is pretty damn Exhibiting cool. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins... This shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. Let's uh, check out our little grotto. I'm kind of curious on... Yeah, enter at your own risk. Shark sighted. Well, I'd say you're fucking correct, because we are, like, right here in your fucking face, dude. Like... Look... Whoa, look at this stuff, man. I love the purple and... Like, look at this shit. Like, what the hell happened here, exactly? It really gives you, like, an impression, like, uh... There's a, a history to this fucking place. Big bees, swamp tours. So it looks like it must have been some sort of business or something that collapsed or something down here. That's fucking badass though, I gotta say. That's, and what is this thing? Is that like power? That is so strange, guys. That is so incredibly strange. It's like a sub type thing power and stuff really does make you wonder but all right it looks like we've i think inspected everything here i hope there's not like you know little things we can inter interact with or anything i mean i'll probably end up playing on my own quest track and view the log to track or untrack a motherfucking quest so let's look what we got here okay we got two main quests here it looks like so we got musky business it's time to show this Yankee fish a little southern hospitality. So we have to kill, yeah, this basic fish. And there's an audio log. I'm actually curious if any of the other quests have audio logs. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of like looking here, seeing if... Huh. So yeah, and then there's catfish fever. We have to eat 10 catfish. Female catfish can spawn up to 100,000 eggs. Males can fertilize up to nine spawns per season, and that's how overpopulation happens. So we are going to be helping that shit out, apparently. Well, you know what? Let's play this fucking audio log quick. I don't know if it's just going to give us a fact or what the hell, but let's play that. Let's track it. Let's go get this motherfucking fish. The muscalunge, or musky, is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region. So I have no idea what it's doing here. Okay, so, yeah, just a little short thing. Let's track this bitch. Let's go fucking do it. We're not gonna take too damn long here. Okay, so there's one over that way. So let's fucking go over there. Let's go find this son of a bitch and track it down. What is that? Wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. Oh, it's a license plate. Up on the land there. Well, we're gonna ignore that for now. But yeah, we do need, like I said, watch our fucking ASS. Because I also wonder if there's normal crocodiles in here that are still kind of, you know, menacing to us. Let's eat a couple of these fuckers and see if, um, we're kind of close to leveling up, actually. Let's do that because I would rather, uh, wait, is that our goal right there? Okay, wait. Wildlife combat. Wildlife can be hostile. Evade to dodge their attacks. When you see the wildlife glow, they are vulnerable. Attack while they are vulnerable to stun them. Press R1 to evade, which is going to be very fucking useful. Thrash. If you are the same size or larger than combative wildlife, 
when they are vulnerable, you can thrash them to maintain control. Hold R2 with an object in your mouth, and then wiggle with the right stick to thrash those fuckers. Focus threat, yep, focusing. We already kind of read that. Uh, Yeah, nearby enemies. While underwater and hostile wildlife divers will be prioritized. All right, fucking yeah. So I think that's actually, yeah, our musky there. Get over here, you bitch. That musky ain't gonna fucking... Really? Is the musky our predator or something? I mean, kind of looked like it was making it like a predator or some shit. I mean, that didn't stand a fucking chance. Fuck you. Yeah, that's about, yeah, teaching us how to lock on. Okay, that must have not been the main musky that we need or something. Yeah, the main one's over that way. I'm, I'm being an idiot. All right, so let's keep going over, but watching it because, yes, like I said, I can, that's what's crazy. We are the predator, but there's still an element of um, nervousness in a way. Population control. Eat their favored prey to bait out the apex. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So the catfish look like its favorite prey. So yeah, let's stay the fuck away from there for now, guys. Besides, our our goal, our catch is over this way. I don't want to bait that fucker out yet. I want to kind of relax and take it. We'll, we'll take it easy right now. Kind of just enjoy things. But I am definitely looking forward to that uh, showdown. We don't even know what level it's going to be. It could be like a level 10 or 15. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what, like, you know, how many levels the there is. Movements are supple and precise. I don't know what there, if there's a cap or whatnot. I mean, obviously, there's going to be a level cap, but that's what I'm saying, though, is who knows what level that fucker's going to be and all that. And usually in RPG games, uh oh, what the hell? That, uh, yeah, music was kind of worrying a little bit. Okay, the muskie is a predator, it seems, guys. That little fucker's trying us. You little bitch. Hey, I am supposed to be the fucking top of the food chain here. Fuck you. There we go. Yeah, he didn't stand too much of a chance, but something tells me if it was a crocodile, we'd be way, yeah, worse off. Yeah, there's a catfish. Kill these elite, yeah, kill these elite animal and human threats to earn rewards. So there is the hunted, mu okay, that is a level five. And since they are kind of predatorial, I say we should try to chill out for just a moment. You know what I mean? We don't want to, we don't want to jump in there and die immediately. If I can help it, I don't. I mean, look, we got these level one muskies attacking. We're going to fuck him up first. You little bitch. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, he fucked us up for a second there. Hey, you shithead. Don't you run from the fight, you little bitch. There you go, you fucker. Yeah, we're almost level two, which has me excited. Which is what I love about RPGs. I mean, RPGs are obviously very addictive for, the, for all those things. You know, leveling up and all that. But here's a collapsed, like, dock of sorts. Level three catfish. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch it. I'm still... Yeah, I'm feeling dread here. What the fuck? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Hey, fuck off, asshole. Fuck off, asshole. Uh, let's fight him. Fuck it. Let's... Come on! Come on, fucking face me, you bastard. I am the fucking... Tiger, I'm the fucking king of this fucking jungle, and I will fucking cleave you. Fuck your shit. Bitch. You're a level five, and you're still going down. You don't even have a fucking hit on me, you little bitch. Come on. There we go, guys. Yes, we have him. He hasn't even fucking hit us. Or musky is a freshwater fish currently found throughout the Great Lakes region. So I have no idea what it's doing here. The level two reach. That is great. We leveled up. We beat it. Side quest unlocked. Completing story quests also unlocks side quests, which is awesome. I mean, I, I love that kind of shit. That's for absolute sure. So, all right, let's actually check it out what we got here. So, yeah, the main one is to go get those catfish, which, as we saw, is going to draw out the apex. So, to me, we don't uh, exactly want to do that. But, uh, let me see here. Um, 
Okay, wait, are these... The side quests? I mean... Wait, maybe these are... Okay, these must be the side quests. Destroy target. Destroy another target. So these look like more of those uh, kind of fish, basically. See you later, alligator. That's where we actually fight a fucking alligator, guys. So yeah, these, are, these must be our side quest type of things here. Yeah, discover all the landmarks and all that stuff. So, let us just say fuck it and equip one of them. So, bad day sunshine. After living near the sunshine sunscreen factory for the past month, this muskie is now 70% oxybenzone. Whatever the fuck that means. So yeah, it's just another muskie. I don't know if it'll be a higher level. Let's track it. And uh, it looks like maybe it'll lead us to a new location too. So here we go. Let's go off. No more stalling. Yeah, that got a little bit intense when things got darker and that music kicked in a little bit there. It got some dread going. Uh-oh. See you later, alligator. I did not equip that. I don't want to fight the fucking alligator right now. I, I do not. Screw you. I am not doing that shit. Wait, where is an alligator? Oh, fuck. Level 8, guys. He's over there. No, thank you. No, thank you. I will fight you, though, little bitch. I will fight you. Yeah, we don't want to take on the level 8 alligator, guys. That's for sure. Not just yet. We need to stay the fuck away from him. See, so, yeah, but I love that element. It kind of reminds me of, like, the next... Uh, there's an X-Gen Studios game online I used to play on Newgrounds. It's called uh, Fishy. What the fuck is that? Bastard? And, yeah, it is... Uh, you had to watch out for the bigger fish. So there's an element of that here. You want to watch out for the bigger fucking fish. That definitely keeps things interesting. But alright, we're going to continue going on. And we're going to try to find that other... That, yeah, that other muskie. And keep eating kind of like along the way. Chopping this shit. Oh my god, that's a fucking... Fuck that. Fuck that. Oh my god. Level 15. Level 15. Fuck this shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. It is behind us. It is coming for us. I don't want that shit. No, I don't. No, thank you. Not today, baby. No, no. Fuck off. You can go fuck yourself. Yes, yes, you can go fuck yourself. I'm going to eat turtles. I am going to eat fucking turtles and yeah. Little baby fish. Dude, that almost had us, man. That damn near almost has. We gotta watch our ass here. Damn it. No, no. Stop it. Shit. No, okay. I'm getting a little bit, uh, yeah, turned around here. God damn it. That's nerve wracking. Shit. Whew. I didn't expect to feel these kind of emotions in this game. I gotta say, guys, because. There we go. We got some health back. Thank God. All right. Yeah, let's keep doing this because the further we venture out into the body, the more dangerous things are going to get. Oh, you bitch. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't really know if I feel safe going out there just yet. Is yeah, I definitely don't want to die. So we're going to chill here for a moment here. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, man, that was incredibly intense. Like, I would say, like, I told you guys about Jaws and stuff, and I loved that. That encounter there, that was fucking intense, man. Like, that gave me probably more intensity than, than Jaws did. That's for sure. That that was fucking crazy. But okay, wait a minute. Um, okay, that, that was that. Yeah, that's the alligator over there, and I think it was level 15, if I'm not mistaken. So he's kind of in our way, unless we snake around... So let's go back and try. I know that's dumb, but I don't want us to have a whole episode where we're just stuck here. Sort of, you know. I'm trying to keep it safe, but at the same time, yeah, I mean, we need to have some balls here. And but fuck, that was intense, dude. Like, that almost felt like a horror game for a second there. It really took on that feel to me anyways. <clears throat> what is that? Okay, that's a landmark over there. That's a landmark. Uh, go this way, because, yeah, he is that way. We definitely want to stay away from them. For the time fucking being. Let's kill this muskie. The muskies seem to be 
giving us good shit. Oh my god, I hate the sounds, dude. I hate the sounds of uh, these things, because, yeah, I wear headphones, guys, so it's, like, super loud, and it's intense. And when that big-ass fucking crocodile was coming at us, yeah, that was, that was intense shit. So, yeah, there's a few of them over here. So I could definitely see, if you're not careful, that a, you know, a school of them could probably easily come up and fuck your day up. Yeah, let's use that radar just to... I was just curious if it would scan and kind of tell us more about what's around. Okay, we need to go down this way and come around, though. That's what we need to do, so... Let's go on and... Okay, another musky. I'm kind of worried about even getting the catfish, though. I'm going to because it's a level 1, but I probably should watch out with that. Because if I eat too many catfish, uh, I wonder if that's going to draw the son of a bitch out. And now that gives me another thought. Like, is he going to wander when he's drawn out? Is he going to wander around this entire biome, this entire area, until we face him? So one second here. Do you know why I'm doing this, guys? Okay, wait. Okay, no. So thankfully it did not start that. I was curious if that counted... For the catfish, because like I said, I don't want to draw him out and have him be, like, on our fucking ass. The entire time we're out here, imagine that kind of hell we'd be living in, guys. Because, at least for me, like, I want to treat that as sort of a boss encounter, if you get what I'm saying. Like, you know, do some side quests, do some- OH MY FUCK NO! No, 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 no! Suck my dick! Suck my shark dick! You get the fuck out of here! I am not here to play with you! I am not here to play with you, bitch! No, you go play with the other fucking little tadpoles and shit. You know, your frog friends. Fuck that. I am... Wait. Okay, musky. Jesus Christ, man. You can fuck off until I am good, well, ready. Oh. oh my God. Fuck off, you little shit. God damn it. That... Like, even the sounds from that thing make you feel like that is a, uh... Make you feel like that is the damn alligator coming. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just like... Predatorial sounds are intense. So even when that little... Yeah. Even when this little fish comes, it's just like, yeah. It seems like it could be something worse. And there's still that whole element of the ocean where you have, like, all 360 to be attacked by. So it makes you wonder, like, oh, fuck, is there something I didn't see? But here's a landmark. Let's just get it. We'd have to be stupid not to. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home. And let huh. me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Okay, so we're level three now and two literal. That's very bizarre. What the hell is this plug doing here? That's kind of funny. That's pretty, yeah, humorous, I'd say. But yeah, man, it's looking hard to even get over there at the level we're at. We kind of have to be back because if we don't, we're, we're fucked. Like, we are going to get chomped on big fucking time so let's take it a little bit easy I would rather take it easy than just flat out die that's for sure I'm not a fan of just dying for the ever living fuck of it you know what I mean I mean I'm assuming this isn't a game that really screws you over that bad for dying but still I mean why, why needlessly be a dumbass and die when we can play at least a little bit smart and uh, at least challenge things that are somewhat believable to be taken on. So fuck you, turtle. Oh, that is yummy. We are having a fucking buffet up in this bitch, is what we're having, guys. And that also reminds me of a, uh, the song Feeding Frenzy from Otep. For anybody who likes Otep, you guys like that song? Let me know in the comments. I like that song. Because it's time for a feeding frenzy! Come on, bitch! Yeah, there we go. So yeah, level 3. I don't know if, like, once we're level 5, maybe we'll up our rank. Like, the name, you know what I mean? Like, become something bigger than a pup. And now I'm kind of wondering, it does look like we increased our size a little bit. Compared to earlier, unless that's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a fucking fool, I don't know. Yeah, I want to keep my eyes around well because I don't want him to sneak the fuck up. I really want to go this way. I really want to go this way. Let me see. Okay. 
let's let's just try it again, guys. Let's try it again. I would love to get to that damn musky that we set out to do. But if there's another alligator, we're just gonna have to. Wait, is that a... okay? It's another level one musky over there. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to probably grind just a little bit on my own because. Uh... Like, what the fuck is that? Okay, that's another musky. See what I'm saying? Like, that ain't no threat, but... Just the noises and the sounds was enough to make it seem like a threat, even though it wasn't. That's what I like, is you're not... Like, at least right now, I don't feel, like, super overpowered, and... I mean, that feeling is cool in the game, too, but there's an element of fear and kind of... Yeah, there's an element of there, of that there, which is awesome. So I, I have, as you couldn't tell, I've fallen in love with this game almost immediately. But I'm liking the, the feelings that this is given. And there we go, we got another one. Okay, there's a level... F okay, I thought it was a level 4 alligator, but yeah. There's alligators over there. We, we gotta get the hell out of here. We can't, uh... We can't brave this part of the waters just yet. We're just asking for fucking trouble. But there is one thing we can do, and that is this, uh, cachet over there. Wait, there's one actually behind us. Put a waypoint here. Where is that thing? It's right there, so we're gonna have to still watch our ass because Mr. Crocodile was, uh, right the fuck over there. We're gonna slither over, and we're gonna try to nab this fucking thing. You, yeah, you stay the fuck on your side of the lake. Stay on your side of the fucking lake, bitch. I mean that. And shut up, musky. I want this, not you. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty ball. I like how it uh has like an Assassin's Creed element where it highlights the things on the map. Cause you know some games it's fun to hunt things down. Wait, what? Okay, I thought that was the level eight uh, crocodile. Some games it's fun to hunt things down, but then other games it's nice to just be able to relax more and... Yeah, you know what I mean? Just be able to go around and kind of just enjoy picking things up rather than having to, like, really hunt for them. So I like that in this case. It's kind of nice to be able to see things and go and help that level you up and stuff. Pretty fucking nice. Yeah, most certainly after this level, I will probably uh, grind a bit, maybe even tackle the side quest we're doing now and other things on my own, possibly, because... <clears throat> the... Uh-oh, uh-oh, Gr alligator's in somewhere. He's somewhere around because it popped back up. I'm gonna have to watch it. I That's what the impression that it's given me, is that the alligator's nearby, so... Yeah, the reason I'm gonna be doing that, guys, is because... Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. The feeling that it gives me is that we're probably going to be seeing a lot of missions like this type. Which is not a problem, but... Just so that way it keeps things sort of like, you know, focused on certain things. That's why I'll probably maybe do extra grinding and stuff on my own. So we got a few of those. There's one over here, but it is super close to him. What's this? Is that a, a license plate or something? I'm guessing that these are... Okay, no, these are the ones we've already collected. I'm a dipshit. But there is a license plate here. So let's go grab that fucking license plate. <clears throat> At least these collectibles also give us little XP boosts and stuff, too. And change up the pace of it a little bit. Yeah, just think, this is the very first goddamn area, guys. Like, we're gonna be seeing probably way worse predators than just a crocodile, I'm assuming. And actually, we haven't really looked at the sights up in here. Kind of reminded me of Red Dead Redemption 2 because of the swamps in that game. I love it. I love the swamps in Red Dead 2 and stuff. Alright, but this one... Oh, it's up there, so we might have to go around to get to it. Might have to go around onto land to... Okay, well, in a second... Yeah, I, that's not a good idea, guys. The that shark is... should really get some water in her gills. Yeah, that ain't no good idea, because look how long that boardwalk type of thing is. I'm assuming we'd have to go and get on steps or something to get up there to be able to access that. 
So we're not even gonna fucking try with that because I don't want to fucking die up there either. What is this over here? Okay, it's another damn crocodile. Yeah. What's the crocodile yo? <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, there's the... Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a weaker crocodile. And that's a stronger one. Let's look at these. Okay, so yeah, those are all those side quests. There's our main quest. Let's, I guess, go uh, see if this one's more easily reached. A more easily reached license plate. Or so we hope. Actually, it might be, because I think there is the... What, is this the one that was just above the water? This might have been one that was just above the water and was... Okay, wait. That looks like I could easily reach it, so... Let's see if I can. And there we go. We got it. <clears throat> Sweet. So that one we were able to nab pretty damn easily. But, as it's... Okay, cool. Fast traveling. So there's fast traveling there. But it looks like really we've grabbed up the little bits around that we can. That, Like I said, that one's the one from the boardwalk. That's too close to fuckface over there. That's trying to chomp on our fucking, yeah, tail and shit. So, yes. We're not exactly at a standstill. But we're at a point where we definitely should relax just a little bit and take things easily. Because, yeah, those fuckers will rip us to pieces. Shred us to fucking bits. So we're going to chill here, and we're just going to chew these fuckers up and enjoy our, uh, you know, being at the top of the food chain on this particular side of the fucking bayou. Because once we go on that side, we ain't the fucking top anymore. We, yeah, we got, we get lowered pretty significantly at this point. Let's wait over here and just chop a few motherfuckers down. But yeah, I'm so happy that the developers, that somebody, you know, thought of an idea like uh, Jaws Unleashed and, you know what I mean, brought this kind of gameplay and thing back because this was awesome. It's awesome to see again. And we are level four and we have an ability. So that's sweet. So, okay, wait, we actually met one of our, I think, uh, our goals or whatever, because actually now that I think of it, when we looked at our goals, one of them was reached level 4. So we are a level 4 pup. I'm still wondering if level 5 will upgrade further. Let's see here. Oh, look at that! The shark is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. So yeah, we have grown up now. It wasn't level 5, it was, yeah, level 4, that's cool, but... New age reached. We are now a teen. So we have a new ability, which is the Tail Whip. Which, yeah, that's the one we saw before. Ability upgrades, Breach Lunge, Air lung, uh, Lunge, Lung Capacity. So yeah, we've upgraded. And there we fucking go. So yeah, we are now a bigger and better shark. Which is awesome as fuck. I didn't even expect to uh, see that this quickly. But I don't believe we have... Anything we can really, you know, put on us right this second. But there we go. We are now bigger and a little tiny bit stronger, but I still don't feel, uh... Yeah, I don't feel rest assured and safe to contend with the big baddies out there. Not, not at this moment, I do not. Wait, what the hell? Okay, I hit the wrong thing. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm just gonna end it here. Because the point, to me, the point of this was to kind of get uh, a little bit of the lay of the land, check out this cool map, and, you know, try to do maybe some side quests. But unfortunately, we were kind of barred from that because, yeah, we have some terrifying encounters around us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grind a bit. I'm going to go grind a bit until I'm at least maybe, you know, I don't know if I'd say a level under them or I probably more likely evenly matched. I'm going to go grind and kind of enjoy things and get us to that point. And then when we come back, once we can actually at least stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these fuckers, maybe then I'll bring us back for another one in the bayou, so that way we can go around and grab this fucker, maybe take on an alligator and stuff, and maybe then we'll be able to have access to the full areas around here, and fully get to explore. So that will probably be what the next episode is. 
like I said, once I've grinded out a little bit and, yeah, done those things to make us be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these menacing sons of bitches. Because, yeah, like I said, that was some intense moments there. But there are for sure more intense moments to fucking come because, yeah, we are in basically a pond. We have the entire fucking, yeah, ocean areas at our disposal here. Which I'm greatly excited. This is just area fucking one. So, alright guys. I hope you enjoyed that shit. I definitely did. I'm hooked. <laughs> yeah, a pun, a joke, whatever. I'm hooked like a, a fucking fish. Which I knew I would be. I'm happy with this game. My first impressions from last time this time is that this game is a really fun, addicting kind of thing. If just eating things and gliding through the water. If you love ocean stuff. If this concept sounds good to you. And... You know, if, if objectives like this don't get repetitive to you really much, you'd probably enjoy this. So far, I'm enjoying it. And, I mean, I'll probably, you know, mention maybe more things later on. But I feel like, you know, I will be fine for the long haul. Because what I'm seeing now, I'm enjoying. And to me, the game is probably just going to continue to open up. And we're going to see, you know, new creatures, new areas, new apex predators. And, you know, then we'll obviously have the story itself spurring us on as well and we haven't even got any of the upgrades and other things we're still in the basic bitch areas and it's still fun as fuck all you know but yeah we will return next time we will take those fuckers on i hope you guys are enjoying this i'm loving it if you like horror if you like man eater like comment subscribe for both of those things and uh yeah i hope you all have a great wonderful amazing fantabulous uh, shocking in a good way. Kind of fucking day. Stay away from the crocodiles. They want to eat. Yeah, they're hungry. Stay the fuck away from them. Don't wait in the waters like we damn now. Yeah, we almost did. Fuck that shit. And this is Agony333 signing the fuck out. Have yourselves an amazing one, everybody. Peace.